we are now with Dennis Michaud and we're here to talk about offsite construction. Does that really mean that you're building the houses offsite? Offsite construction is building part of the entire building in a factory setting and then okay. transporting that to the job site. Does that mean that you're building the whole house in the factory and then you just assemble it? Exactly. In many cases, it is the whole house. And what we're doing is benefiting from quality that happens in that industrialized setting. All right. And what are the benefits of building the house off-site as opposed to on-site? And quality is really one of the big benefits. In an off-site setting, you have multiple layers of quality that ensures that you have that strength, that resiliency, as well as good building science principles to ensure that the building is able to stay warm when it's cold more easily, to yep. stay cool when it's hot outside to ensure that the occupants are comfortable from an acoustic perspective and from an air quality perspective. Okay. Is the building able to withstand heavy rain, big fluctuations in moisture level outdoors? Uh -huh. So the quality of materials, that's really a central component and a central benefit of off-site construction. Is that correct? It is. So the quality of materials that are used, and in fact, often when automated equipment is used in the manufacturing, that requires a very high level of quality in the material itself in order to be used through that automation. All right. But it's also the quality of the way that the materials are put together that's very important. When the workers that are building the home are able to be very comfortable and safe, they're able to work in the warmth and it's dry, they're able to concentrate much more on achieving the right quality of putting the materials together, of following the design that results in a stronger, more resilient, and, and better home. Yes. Um, there are two issues that we're trying to address. How off-site construction can make housing more sustainable and more resilient to climate change, mm. but also how it can address the housing crisis, which is particularly dire in Massachusetts and in the U.S. at large. Generally, the United States builds about 1.4 million new homes every year. And that's growing, for example, single family homes, that's growing at 5% year over year. And yet still, we have a gap of 3.7 million homes that we're unable to build and unable to meet the demand. The only way to address that is being able to build homes faster. And with off-site construction, we can build in about half the time as you could in traditional well, construction. That's really significant. It, it is. is. And what about resilience to climate change? Building a, a building indoors means that it needs to be ultimately transported to the job site. So the building but itself needs to be a lot stronger in order to withstand that. Unfortunately, we know that there's an increasing number of natural disasters that are happening. Okay. And so having much stronger homes has the benefit of making those homes being able to withstand those natural disasters. So that is, as you know, the motto of Saint-Gobain is make the world a better home. How does that motto resonate with your work? For me, making the world a better home is about two things. It's of course about making homes better, safer, uh -huh. more comfortable, but also it's about making the life of those that are building the homes better. And we believe that the safer that the construction can be, the more ergonomic that it can be, the better it is for the people that are building the homes that will be comfortable in the future. Good. And I think that this attention to construction workers is really something that is very specific to think about and crucially important. I think important. so. And it is. It's very important. Mm -hmm.